Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this staycation video. I'm currently staying somewhere else. I'm dog sitting with my boyfriend uh, somewhere else in the Netherlands and the weather is pretty poor but today is a nice day so I thought I'd take my chance and film a little video for you guys. So what I wanted to do today was do another shop my stash because it's been a little while. And um, I thought I could just show you what I brought for this nine day staycation. I try to keep it to, well, what I would call a minimum, but it never is. And then I always end up packing a lot of extra things, <laughs> you know, during the day that we're going to leave. You probably experience the same thing. So let's just hop right into it. Subscribe if you like makeup or fashion content. I've been doing a lot of shorts on both both of those teams so please consider subscribing let me show you <laughs> what we've got here so this is my makeup bag it's just a tote bag inside there are a couple of other things so this is the little bag. This is one from Makeup Revolution X Coraline, which I usually bring when I'm when I don't really have a lot of time to figure out what I need to bring if I'm going somewhere for a night or something. Uh, this is what I bring. So this pretty much this pretty much has all my essentials. If you hear dogs, yeah, <laughs> I mean that's what I'm here for. <laughs> so my essentials. Definitely an eyeshadow primer. I'm currently trying to fin finish up the Glam Light Icing Base in Classic Vanilla. A couple of mascaras. The ones that I have in here are two black ones from Catrice and Essence, both waterproof and a waterproof blue one from Hema. Um, all of which are fine. Um, I like to combine them with false lashes anyway, but I do wear the blue one on its own. Lash glue, of course. Then I always like to throw in a lot of eyeliners because I feel like they form a big part of my look. So the ones that I have in here are for the waterline, for my upper waterline or to tight line. And then I have a combination of uh, creamy liners and liquid liners. So these are them. <laughs> oh, The ones that I really, really love at the moment are these three. These are from Kruidvat, which is a Dutch drugstore. They're a pale blue, pink, and creamy color, which I pretty much always use for my waterline. Then I also love some other budget ones. I have this one, a recent obsession from Relove Re from Makeup Revolution in a beautiful minty green. I love these ones from LA Girl. I think they're discontinued, but I still have the yellow one. I'm trying this one out. This is from Vanessa Myricks. It's a multi-chrome eyeliner. I've had it for a while, but I don't find myself using it a lot because I don't feel like it's very pigmented or at least maybe because of the shift, it doesn't really show very pigmented. So I'm still making up my mind about this, but I can show you. It's a very thin pencil, which shifts from green to blue, if you can even see something. Just take my word for it. It's pretty, but I'm not really sure if it was necessary. Then I have a couple of eyeliners that I use more for the top waterline, which are a black one, of course, a brown one, which is, has lost its cap, so I'm not really sure if it's still good. And then I have this uh, shiny uh, green one and blue one from Urban Decay. I have a berry colored one from Essence. And then this one from Chanel, which is really, really good. It's in the shade jungle i believe it's one of their older ones jungle green yes which is a beautiful metallic green and then i have two liquid liners a black one which is the one i'm currently wearing which i really like and then this one which is a dark blue from catrice i also had this purple one from urban decay so yeah a lot of eyeliners but they are essentials to me and then um i have two brow hold up i have three brow products this is just a, a colored brow gel which doesn't have a lot of hold in blonde from kruidvat which i like to pair with other brow gels and then i have two brow pens the one from benefit with the little prong and one from nyx in the shade light brown and taupe and I love both of these. I don't use them that much because what I usually use now 
is this one. This is actually the fourth product. This is the Fluff and Hold Brow Gel from Too Faced. It's actually almost done. I've been using it for about a month and a half now and I think it's going to need a replacement really soon, but I love this. If it's not almost dried out, it really keeps my brows up pretty decently without looking very heavy and slick and thick and, I don't know, shiny. It's nice. I'm sure you can imagine that I have a lot of lip products in here. Well, these are they. Um, there should be a nude lip liner in here, but there isn't. And it's been an issue because the ones that I keep using are either this super pink one, which I'm wearing right now, which I think is just a little bit too much with my nude glosses, or this dark brown one from the Glam Light X Barbie collection. And I know these are nice, but I would like my nude one to be back in here. I'm sure it's somewhere in the big bag, but I need it to be in this little bag. Then I always have a wild card in this little bag. And this time it's the Beam Lip Gloss by Made by Mitchell. And honestly, I think this is one of the ugliest glosses I've ever tried. But I'm I'm so trying so hard to make it work. It's a super thick, super opaque, very pale pink gloss. Which sounds pretty nice. I like the color, but it's just... It's Barbie in a bad way. And I just, I'm not sure if I can make this work, but I, I keep trying. So that's sort of my vibe at the moment. I also have this nude lip lipstick, I mean. Don't wear lipstick that often anymore, but when I do it, something like this. Or the Chanel version, which is actually a little bit prettier. This is Adrienne. Trying to finish that one up because it was expensive. Then I have a couple of other lip glosses. I have this Barbie lip gloss, which I'm also currently wearing. It's in a mauve shade. I have this one, my favorite from NYX, the Lip Fat, the Lip Drip Fat Oil in the shade Mist Call. Yes, I love those. I also love this one. This is from the Michaela X Glam Light Part 2 collection. I also have both those lip kits completely and I use them a lot. This is the darker lip kit, the lip gloss. It's gone almost completely pink now because I used it on top of the lipstick, but it's nice. Now it's a two-in-one product. So now it's a rosy gloss with a golden shimmer on top of it, which I like to use with that new lip liner, which I can't find. And then I also like now for the summer, but either way, I like a couple of poppy lip glosses. So I have this very smooth, creamy, soft formula from Catrice in a hot orange. And I have this hot pink, almost red, strawberry type of color from Glam Light X uh, Strawberry Shortcake. Next, I feel like I have a lot more in here than I thought, but I have four or five concealers. I do like to use concealer on a day-to-day -day basis instead of foundation. And the ones that I really like to use at the moment, number one is this one from Givenchy, the new one. It's not as high coverage, so I do like to pair it with something else underneath my eyes, but all over my face is beautiful. Then I do really love the Huda Beauty one, the newer one, which is very full coverage. I also like using this one from Chanel. I'm currently trying to finish it up. This is in the old formulation. This is a nice matte medium light medium coverage concealer which i like to pair with my um, danessa myricks blurring skin balm on a, on a really hot day this doesn't move and then the option that i also like to pair with that but when i want a slightly lighter under eye in color and in um, opaqueness is this one from too faced this is the born this way ethereal light which is actually one of my favorite concealers but it's not a one and done, so I use it a little less. And then recently I've added this one. This is the under eye corrector from Becca, rest in peace. And I've, I've actually started experimenting with using this as my sole concealer underneath my eyes. I feel like it looks kind of nice. <laughs> I made a short on it as well. I tried this um, underneath the Givenchy concealer yesterday. And I thought it looked better before I added the concealer. And that was really weird to me. So I thought I'd try it again. And I do actually really like it. So underneath here, I'm only wearing this one. And then I'm wearing the Givenchy on the rest of my face. I don't know. I'm just trying it out. 
I do have something of a foundation in here. This is the Chanel Le Beige Tinted Moisturizer. This is one of their um, travel packaging. Yeah, I really like this. It's almost done. The shade is not really right for me. This is in light and it's very pink, but it is a very nice formula. Then I have just a couple of cheek products in here. And I did realize that I really, really, really miss a cream bronzer in here. So that's on my list for when I come back to add to this little bag. But what I do have is this cream blush, which I really like. I'm also currently wearing it. It's from Catrice. It's in Rock and Rose. And this liquid highlighter from Vanessa Myricks in the shade Electric Love, which is actually a little dark for me, but I do love it as a blush topper and it does work. So I love these two together. Um, I do have another blush option in my bag, in my bigger bag. Then as a couple of fun add-ons, I have these three little things. So these two are the Vanessa Myricks. Uh, infinite chrome flakes in the shade sweet tooth and strobe light i like to put these on my eyes if i have little time and then i also have this one from carla cosmetics in the shade birdsong this is a, a multi-chrome powder which is a little tricky to use it's only in here because i don't know where else to keep it but it's really not an everyday essential but whenever i do want a little bit of sparkle on top of an easy eye look and I do have the time and the place to do it. I do like to use this. Oh, and then I guess I missed the lip product. I also have this Nana Nana Peely Lip Oil from Makeup Revolution X Fortnite, which is really nice. It smells like, yes, it smells like fruit bananas. And I really like it. It actually has a bit of a yellow tint as well. So it's really pretty. I'm not going to show you everything in this bag because there's also some brushes, some hair essentials, some stuff that just was still in the bag but that I didn't really mean to bring. <laughs> so I'm just going to skip some of it. But a couple of things I feel like I do need to show you. So I always bring a couple of face palettes and usually I even bring more than two because face palettes are just so handy. You get a lot of extra options and then you also have the nice mirror to use and then if you're in a pinch if you're in the car doing your makeup you could even just use everything in the same palette so the one that i use the most is this one from charlotte tilbury I've, i'm sure most of you have seen this if you ever looked at my channel this is the instant look of love in a palette in pretty blush beauty i pretty much always wear this bronzer now because it's I only have brought two bronzers, the ones in these face palettes. I'm completely lacking in a bronzer department. Um, and I'd actually like to wear a cream bronzer now, but oh well. I'm slowly finishing this one up, but I also really like this one as a highlight. And today I'm also using this face powder. The other face palette that I like to use is this one from Hourglass. This is the Ghost Ambient Ghost Edit palette from 2019. This one, I like to use the bronzer and this face powder combined as my bronzer. And then I also really love to use this blush. And of course, I will use all the other shades as well. But those are the ones that I really go to. Then my recent obsession. This is the Nanessa Myricks Dewy, Dewy <laughs> Cheek and Lip Palette. And this is amazing. I I guess I didn't really realize you could also use it on your lips. Or at least I don't think I've tried it yet. But I love this as a cream blush slash slash bronzer palette so this is in the shade i'm not really sure but like the brown tones and this shade is perfect as a blush bronzer combination so i just use it a little bit all around and it's perfect i don't even need a highlighter because it's pretty glossy but i can use all shades even the really deep one i just need to use a light hand really work it into the skin and it's this beautiful raspberry kind of shade it's really pretty and this one is nice and peachy almost they're really diverse and they're really workable they're really nice one and done type of products. And when I do want a little bit of sparkle on my cheeks, I like to use the Noctilucent palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is a highlighting palette that you can also use on your eyes. And I use it for both a lot. I use all of these shades, well, apart from this one as inner corner shades, lid shades, cheek shades. I just really love them. I especially love this shade, which is sort of a... Well, it's a pink. I guess it's really more, even more pink than I thought, but it's less 
purple than this one <laughs> but i also really love the yellow one in here it's just this whole palette is beautiful i keep using it it's my favorite highlighting palette then some other bips and bobs that i left in this bag um i did end up bringing a couple of foundation like products uh just at the end before we left because i felt like i might want some if i wanted to do a full face so i brought my staple which is the nars light reflecting foundation in the shade gobi which is a perfect shade match for me but i also really love this one from dior this is their reformulated dior backstage foundation in the shade 1w which really matches me nicely now that i actually do have a bit of a tan i know you can't really tell but it's honestly true <laughs> and i love both of these foundations this one i can make pretty full coverage and the nars is just a very natural type of foundation and they're both really nice the one that i use the most is again the Danessa Myrex. She's really she's really stealing the show here. This is the Blurring Skin Balm that I use as a primer, a foundation, and a powder, which I just think is amazing. I just I just use it wherever I want a little bit more coverage, or want to set a little bit, or where I need to prime my skin for a very hot day, which is especially around here, 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 a little bit over here. You know where you sweat. <laughs> So this is a brilliant product. I did bring another powder, but I find myself not really using face powder whenever I just use concealer. But whenever I do the full face, I like to use this Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Plus, Plus Finish Powder. Then the last things in the bag that I want to show you that I truly meant to bring were um, these two lip glosses from Glamlight. I love Glamlight's lip products as well as their eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Frosted Flakes lip gloss. This is a very nice frosty, <laughs> well, duh, uh, icy lip gloss, I should say, which I thought would be really fun if I wanted to do a Barbie inspired look again. And then I also brought my uh, Rick lip gloss from the Rick and Morty collection. Um, I don't really love the lip liner at this point, it's more of a winter shade, but this lip gloss in combination with a slightly lighter lip liner or the pink one that I showed you earlier is really nice. So I love those. And I did bring my two Dior blushes, I can't find the other one right now, but I did bring Rosewood and Cherry, which I both really, really like. And I do believe somewhere between all these hair accessories and stuff, Yes, I thought so. I did actually bring a nude lip liner. This really should be in this little bag. This is also from Glamlight. It's a pair with this lip gloss. This is from Frosted Flakes. Look how tiny it is. This is the perfect nude lip liner for me. And then I saved the best for last. So if you stuck around, you're welcome because I'm showing you ice shadow palettes and I brought only four, including my single shadows palette. I'm quite proud of that. So these are all my single shadows. This is a highlight, by the way, that I always forget to use. So these are all my Terra Moons. These are my Kionas. These are my Lethals. I recently added these two. I'm currently wearing this one, Pistol Star, which I love so much. Yeah, I thought I could have a lot of fun if I brought this with some essentials. And those essentials are my Michaela Part 2 palette with Glam Light. This is an essential all year round, shimmers and mattes, whatever I need. A hit pen in four shades. I mean, you all know this palette. Uh, today I'm wearing these mattes. But I thought I, I should also make sure that I could wear not cool tones or neutrals. So I thought I'd bring my La Cienega palette from um, Adept which has these beautiful neutral tones and I did wear yesterday. But then it also has a couple of spicy multichromes and very glittery shades that I could use as well. And then finally I thought, why not bring Michaela part one as well? I don't use it nearly as often, but still enough. But it also has a couple of neutrals. It has some warmer shades, like some yellows and some pinks. And I thought it could be a really nice pairing palette with some of these newer loose single eyeshadows that i bought and there you have it that's everything i brought for this staycation i hope you enjoyed this video yeah this was fun for me as well uh subscribe if you like the video and i'll see you in the next one